of some of the things I'm talking about because if you really want to earn your man, you need to learn your man. And a lot of times we get caught up with the wrong men or caught up in a man's penis power because it's good. I mean, if a man has been around and, and he's a hoe, especially like the ones I'm talking about that hopping from here, here, and there, they have a lot of practice and they know a woman's body, they know the power of their penis, and they know how to soothe her body and to soothe her vagina. So it's really easy to be caught up with that dog kind of man. Like that one girl asked me why she thought something was wrong with her because she liked the flashy guys with the jewelry. I said, there's nothing wrong with liking a flashy man. You just have to know what type of spirit and energy he's carrying. Because there are some good men, although they still like to flash, they're not whores. They don't give their penis to everybody. You have to be able to recognize them because the man that is living to ejaculate, he's in a predator mode. And when a man is in a predator mode, he's going to look for the weaknesses of a woman, a woman that's, that's lonely. Her vagina is cold. She's laying in bed at night playing with her toys. Or she's got a man beside her. He's a good provider, but he's not hitting the walls and working the middle like that dog that she having that well, sneaky what sex pushes, with. What drives a woman to toys? Because, like I said, she needs the vagina penetration. A lot of women are hooked on having clitoral stimulations. You have an outer orgasm with your clitoris, but also you have inner orgasms inside the intra-vagina, inside the vagina walls, hidden G-spots. And every woman's G-spot may be similar, or some women may have more than one G-spot. So some women are actually hooked on coming. I mean, it's women that can be at work at their desk. They got the jackrabbit on. They said, well, it's a part you can buy hooking onto your clitoris all throughout the day. And you could be having orgasm. Jackrabbit. That one of them I know they call, I, I, I knew some girls, that was their favorite partner. That was their favorite best buddy to keep in their pocketbook. But see, I go back to when I was a little girl being raised in the country. Jack Rabbit, jump from yeah, here to there. Yeah, we ain't talking about the rabbit jump. jump. They no, have I ain't taken... talking about no real rabbit. Jump. But a rabbit in nature, jump from here to there. Just constantly moving. Yes, and they say that they have taken that same concept of the rabbit jumping from here to there, and okay. the, the, the design of it, it jump all up on the clitoris, just jump out of control and make the woman have an incredible orgasm. That's we why are they living call in the 21st it. century. Yeah, that, that's, the, that's the mechanical jack rabbit for the clit. Some men, they have so much heat and intensity in their penis that you can feel it radiating through their clothes or just to touch the penis. It's on fire. feel like it's fire underneath the skin. So a lot of women start cr going crazy. They actually think because all penises are not created equal and they don't hold the same level of intensity. So if it's one hot like that and he has the energy, he knows how to work his hips, work his buttocks, and really twist her and bend her like she's a pretzel and give her the gratification she needs, she's going to be hooked and think that that's love or a deeper root level. She's become, going to become sexually, mentally, and emotionally attached, although he ain't no good. And this other man she with provides for her, take care of children that ain't even his, that woman will still sneak and get that penis power from him. But what she doesn't realize is we have to deal with our attachments and separate the love, the orgasm, and the penis. They are separate issues. Because if we're in a lower level of it and we hooked on the penis power and this man won't even buy you uh, some shrimp from Long John Silver's and what that plate, what, two ninety nine? dollars But he can give you a, a mouth full of sperm and a rectum full of sperm and, and he won't even give you no light bread. It's like we have to see what our issue is because a man like that doesn't respect a woman yeah he'll hit her but if a man is having sex with you and he had the opportunity to be with you or he's an ex so that means he had you before the other man that's providing for you could get to you and all he's offering you is a side of penis when he can sneak in and out your man bed and out your man house that man ain't got no respect for you and he know you don't have none for yourself but because you're so hooked on him and you're hooked on the penis you will sacrifice and sell yourself out to let him come in the back door or let him come at lunch or come in the dark when your re real man that don't have the same penis power is handling all the expenses. So a woman thinks she getting over and think, oh, that's the best sex. But she really playing herself and he playing her because it ain't about her. It's about his ego and about his penis and his testicles and how many notches he can get up on his belt to brag about.